Okay, I'm going to show you how to fix a common issue that our students that are on iPads are having. There is no workaround for this issue other than the teacher fixing their settings for students that are on iPads. So first thing, this is what is happening to the students. Um, and it's asking for a login. And yes, if a student is on a computer, they can use their Microsoft login and it works. However, for our students that are using iPads, this is not working. So in order to fix this problem, this is what your lesson should look like when you have loaded it. It should not ask for a login. It should just have a pre-filled name and be ready to join. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to fix it. Step one, you're going to go into your Nearpod account, nearpod.com. I'm already logged in, but you're going to log in with your Guilford County ID um, or whatever your Nearpod login is. When that happens, you're going to click up in the right hand corner. Uh, it might be a gray little outline of a person or it could be a picture if you've put your picture in. And you are going to go to lesson settings. This is where the issue is. Many of you this is what it's going to look like. This needs to be off. The student autofill needs to be off. This is because of students that are using iPads. So make sure you turn it off. Um, go down. You can choose uh, to allow students to submit or submit. I also change this require student submissions page. But the biggest one you need to change right now is this first one. Once you have done that, you will hit up here on the left hand corner to save and hit the Nearpod. Now, any lesson you make starting right now forward is going to be fine. However, if you are like me and you have already put in your weekly lessons, you need to come back to your course and any of your current lessons you're going to come to your assignments and anything that is a Nearpod, you have to re, you have to fix it. So it's not too hard. You just have to take the time. So for our lessons, for instance, on our unit one, and you have to do this for each lesson, you would go to edit assignments. So once you have gone into edit assignment, this is the assignment you already made. Do not make a new assignment. Just edit your current assignment, your current Nearpod. So if you have made this Nearpod or you're using, you know, a, a Nearpod that you've added to your library, all you're going to do is hit this find. And you're going to come back to Nearpod and you're going to click on that lesson again. Now, just to take note, if you're worried about your students' work being erased that have already completed work, it will not erase their work. You will not have that issue. So this will not cause any problems. So this is unit lesson one and two, and you, you hit student paste. Select. I like to load in a new tab. I stopped because I thought that was what was causing the issue on iPads. It is not. It is safe to load in a new tab, even for our iPad students. And then hit save. And so I'm going to show you if I, well, I'm not going to show you his student's name. But if I go into speed grader, it actually would um, still allow my students' old work to be there. So then what you would do is come back to assignments and go to the next one. So the nice thing about editing your assignment is you do not have to relink it to your Monday through Friday page. You just have to come in now to lesson three. Um, I don't need to go do all mine. I've already done it, but that is how you fix it so that students are able to access their Nearpods and that they will look just like this. Uh, this is without loading the tab. 
if you wanted it to load the tab separate, which is easier for our kids because um, it makes it bigger and they can actually write on it. All you do is you can come in and click load this in a new tab. Again, you would do find, uh, go to Nearpod, and save. And now that one is fixed as well. This is what it looks like. I always, every time, click on this to make sure it does load for me, just to be sure. So if you click on that and it loads and it asks for a login, there's a problem. If you click on it and it loads and it looks like this, you're great. Hope that helps. Please do this so that we can get all these kids into the Nearpods, even those that are using iPads.